I have several buyers who I'm working with now and they're like, okay, I am ready to buy. And they've been listening to a lot of news and you know, reading all the news online and they still can't find properties. And they're wondering what is going on? Everyone is saying that things have slowed down, but I still can't find any properties. I'm going to talk about what's going on with that now and how you can resolve it. Let's get started. My name is Jamie Pretzi. I'm a real estate agent in Miami-Dade and Broward counties and I work with my husband Ogden Pretzi and our team. Today I'm going to talk to you about what is going on with this still crazy market and why people are having a hard time still finding inventory even though the interest rates have gone up. I have buyers who are still in bidding wars. So I'm going to talk to you about what you need to know about this, what's going on, and how we can find you a great property still in today's market. First, before I get started, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another update. We do put out new videos every week. Also use the link in our information box and download our free relocation guide. On that guide page, you'll also find some other helpful tips. It's not just a relocation guide. There's some additional information that I think you'll find helpful. Also, there's a link there if you would like to schedule a free Zoom consultation, you can use the Calendarly link to do that or just use the old fashioned way and just give me a call. That's fine too. Okay, let's get started. A lot of news that's out there is usually pretty negative, especially when it comes to the real estate market. And let's face it, negative news is typically a good seller. And so you always have to keep that in perspective when it comes to real estate. Another thing that you need to know is that real estate is local. So what may apply nationally may not actually apply here in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. One of my colleagues on the West Coast brought up a really good point the other day. And she mentioned that, you know, real estate in South Florida and even on the Western coast of Florida is weird because we have a lot of owners here who buy second, third, fourth properties. Sometimes people are just looking somewhere safe to put their money. So they just put it in real estate. They may rent it out. They may not. Uh, it might be a family property. It may not. They might put it on the market to sell. If it sells, they don't care. If it doesn't, it, they're great. Sometimes people in our area who own real estate, they're not always the motivated sellers that you may find in some other part of the United States. Sometimes people will come to me and they'll say, oh my gosh, that property has been listed forever. What's wrong with it? Or why has that seller not sold the property? He is, must be really desperate. And then, you know, we go look at the property, we make a really good offer and the seller is not that interested. Another thing that is going on is with the interest rates being a bit higher than they were in previous years, some sellers or homeowners rather are reluctant to put their properties on the market because they're like, okay, I need to buy another property on the other side of selling this one. How much is my interest rate going to be on the other side of selling this one? So. Some sellers or homeowners, again, rather, are just deciding to stay put and not put their property on the market. And that's creating a bit of an issue with inventory in certain price points. Demand and supply is another issue here. You know, where some other areas in the United States may not see a huge influx of people moving into that area. In our area, we have a huge influx of people moving here from all other parts of the United States. And also we have a very big international buyer pool here. And so where in the past we had a very, you know, big international buyer pool. Now it's that plus the domestic buyers. And there are a lot of people moving here from some other states for many different reasons and Florida was just rated again by one of the top magazines as one of the most important states for new incoming residents and so that has just continued year after year. One thing that you have to remember when you're reading some of this market information online is you have to understand where you're comparing your data from what year to what year. 
because from the years that happened with the pandemic over the last few years, those are what we call unicorn years. And so those are years where that data really swooped up, prices went crazy up, and inventory went crazy down, and then a lot of other things happened in between. And so anything that shifts off of those unicorn years can really look like, oh my gosh, the market's dropping or something crazy is going on. But you have to actually compare that not that data, you have to compare the data that happened in 2019 and 2018 and 2017 and so on to now to kind of get a re more reality check of what is actually going on because actually I did a newsletter over the weekend. If you would like that newsletter, message me and I will send you a copy of it. And it's just talking about the unicorn years and what happened in those years and, and how you have to realistically look at the market today. Another reason why the inventory is a little bit off in our area is because a lot of people who may choose to typically sell their property after so many years have decided just to keep the property, especially the investment properties, because they are getting a very decent rent per month because the rental prices have increased drastically in our area. And so before where maybe they didn't want to continue to hang on to that property because maybe they were just breaking even, now they're actually probably making some money because they probably have that lower interest rate if they were financing and you know they have a tenant in place and it just makes sense just to keep it there and let that investment appreciate over the next few years. So with all of that said, what is the solution? How can we find you a property today with all of this craziness going on? Number one, you really have to take into consideration that we definitely have a new pricing set here. There's definitely a new floor for pricing in our area. And that is just the reality of what is going on in South Florida. There's just a new price here. And those prices that you got in 2012 or before that, we will probably not see those again. And so that's just a new reality with everything that's going on uh, in the world and all the people who are moving here. That's the pricing of today's real estate market. And so that's just kind of a reality check that you may have to make in order to move forward and actually purchase something in today's market. Another really important thing that we tell our buyers is you need to be crystal clear on what you want. If you want to purchase a condominium, let's focus on condos. Let's get down to even that specific building. Let's see if you need more options. Let's give a few options of different buildings, but let's get laser focused in on what you want because Miami-Dade is huge. And then if you're actually adding in Broward to that, that's a whole nother county. And it can take you hours to get from one part of Miami-Dade to the other part of Miami-Dade. So we have to get really laser focused in on what's important to you, what you want to buy, a really realistic budget with actual taxes and HOA fees or condo association fees included. Also insurance, how much are you comfortable spending on insurance every single month? Let's get laser focused in and create a plan around that laser focusedness of this award, but you know what I mean. Another thing that's really important to do is to be sure to get laser focused in on the neighborhood. Maybe that neighborhood, maybe you're outpriced in that neighborhood now. Maybe what you're looking for is actually a neighborhood over. So maybe adjusting that criteria a little bit and coming to terms with that's the new floor of the pricing in that neighborhood and maybe you're outpriced there. Maybe we need to move over to a different neighborhood or set a new criteria. Especially if you're looking at properties in 2019, a lot of you I know you're probably outpriced in some of those dream neighborhoods where you wanted to buy at that time and maybe you need to adjust your search and the focus a little bit and just come to terms with the new pricing in today's market. And last, one thing that we can do for our buyers, we really get hyper-focused in on finding off-market properties. A lot of times our team will go dig and find off-market properties where we can maybe find a seller who was interested in selling in the past, took it off the market, 
and then we reach out to them or their agent and try to you know revive that interest in selling again we're very successful in doing that it's actually something that we like to do but we only do that with a handful of buyers every year because it is a tedious process and one other thing that you may want to consider is if you have a bit of cash and you have some money to put down and you're just really focused on getting a property at that interest rate from many years ago we can search for properties where you could possibly find a loan that you could assume at a previous interest rate we recently were very successful in doing this and our buyer closed on a property with an interest rate less than five percent yes but they had money to put down to cover that equity gap so you also have to have some cash to put down if you have that and you're open to exploring what that looks like you can let us know because uh, that was a very good process and one that we were very successful and our buyer was very happy on the other side of that okay I think that's it I hope you found it helpful just know that in any market there are always kind of ebbs and flows and sometimes it's just very hard to find a good time to buy like the perfect time to buy if you are ready and you have you know your down payment you have your closing cost money ready to go and you want to have a conversation about what it looks like or what it takes to buy in today's market reach out to us and let us know and we'll set up a free buyer consultation to see if that's something you're interested in doing right now or we can at least just help you plan for the process so you know what to expect going forward it doesn't matter if you're ready to buy next week or you're ready to buy in the next 90 days or six months it's always a good idea to reach out to a local realtor who's experienced in that area so that we can help you make a game plan so you know what to expect okay that's it for today I hope you found that helpful. My name is Jamie Pretzi. This is my husband, Ogden Pretzi. You can find us online on Instagram at The Pretzies, and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.